Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about set cameras and an effort captor. Now before going to this topic, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. So set cameras and an effort captor. So what's going on here? So basically, uh, an effort captor stole this magic book from this god Thoth, and basically this cost him his wife and his kid. Uh, and then he, he commits suicide. Uh, so the Nefer captor, you know, because he wanted his magic book, it cost him everything. And then, you know, he's buried and in his tomb, he, the, the book is there. And, um, you know, his spirit or his ghost, however you want to say it, is there. And then you have Set, you know, he wants the book now. And so he goes into the tomb and the Nefer captor doesn't want his book to be taken. Him and his wife, they come and they're like, don't take our book. This is not good, you know, we died for this book, you know, all these types of things. And the Never Captor is like, okay, don't worry about it. It's, you know, Seth took the book, but I'm gonna make him return it uh with like uh, when he when 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 he returns it, he's gonna return it with a pitching fork and uh a litten brazier on his head. So uh, that that was something interesting. Uh, so Sap does take the, the, the book, he goes back, he starts showing it around, like all this magic power and all this dominance, but then an Africa captain gets to work and um, there's this woman by the name of Tabuhu, or Tabubu, um, however you want to call her, she's very beautiful, very attractive, and Sap wants to have sex with her, and he's like, okay, I'm going to give you 10 pieces of gold um, so that I could, you know, sleep with that girl and because well this is magic and the boo boo looks very very pleasing and um uh you know sep pretty much does anything that's possible to sleep with this girl he has his children killed he gives her all her property uh he gives her all his money everything that he is he gives over to her because he wants to sleep with tabuhu and um basically tabuhu's not really gonna do that and well this is all magic and you know Seb finds himself naked thinking that he was about to sleep with Tabubu uh but he doesn't he just ends up naked and alone and Ramsey's calmed and's like whoa what's going on why are you naked what's going on and, and Seb's like embarrassed and shamed because well this is what Nanaf captain did to him and uh Ramsey's is like Give, give him some clothes, put some clothes on him, and he ultimately returns the magic book to the Nefer Captain's tomb with the pitchfork and the lighted brazier. Um, so that's pretty much the story. It's a weird story. The Nefer Captain gets his book back by tricking Sept with lust. You know, this woman that um, Sept sees is so beautiful, so attractive, so you know, lust worthy that, you know, Sept was willing to kill his own children. Uh, but ultimately his children were not, were not harmed. They were not killed. Um and um you know, he returns the book and his life seemingly goes back to normal. Um but um this is a warning, you know, in terms of deeper meaning and analysis during this time, you know, Egypt there were grave robbers, you know, there were people that went into to tombs and, you know, grave sites and stole gold and money and all these types of things. Because remember, in the Egyptian culture, a lot of dead people were buried with lots of gold and money and things like that. And, you know, people in the living world, <clears throat> people in the living world, they wanted that money. They wanted that gold and um, a magic book that can do, you know, anything, basically. Uh, a lot of people wanted that. Um, so, yeah, this this has a lot to say about, um, well, not taking things from dead people. Uh, that That's very important. But that's what happens within the story. That's what's going on. That's, that's um, a summary of it. Um, and in terms of deeper meaning, yeah, I mean, um, there's a lot going on within the ancient world from magic to um, using human desires against them uh and also spirits and um you know not you know putting the the resting place of people 
uh, in in disorder uh, because you know if you're stealing from graves, it's kind of it's kind of dark that you're stealing from graves, and that these ancient spirits have to pretty much um, terrify you back into doing what's right. Um, so that's everything. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.